Amid the rapid growth in online streaming, advertising regulations for TV broadcasters are under a view to even the playing field. The UK's communication regulator Ofcom has said that it may increase the duration and frequency allowed for advertising breaks on TV channels. At the moment, public broadcasters in the UK are allowed an average of seven minutes of advertising per hour per day. On the other hand, private channels are limited to nine minutes of ads per hour. Throughout these changes, Ofcom is looking to strike a balance between sustaining the broadcasters and safeguarding viewer interest. In light of this news, let's explore some LSE listed advertising companies to keep tabs on. The first one is WPP. The UK-based multinational primarily focuses on communications, advertising and public relations with services in 110 countries. WPP recently acquired Australian marketing tech service company Bauerhouse Digital for an undisclosed amount. Stocks of the company have slipped by over 28% in the last six months, while the one-year return stands at around negative 15%. WPP holds a market cap of close to £9 billion. Another one to look at is Tremor International. Tremor provides advertising solutions to its clients through multiple brands that combine video and tech. The company's share value has almost halved in the last 12 months and its year-to-day return too has dropped by 35%. Tremor holds a market cap of around £528 million and it is a constituent of the FTSE AAM 100 index. MNC Satu Group. The UK-based international communications network provides advertising and marketing services in several regions across the globe. MNC Saatchi's share price has slightly depreciated by 0.75% over the past one year, and its year-to-date return, meanwhile, stands at negative 5%. The group holds a market cap in the neighborhood of 190 million pounds. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media.